What's up everyone, you are watching TechSerec and in today's video, I'm going to show you how you can set up WinLater 2.0. Let us talk about the minimum requirements for it. The thing is that you are going to need at least Android 10. So now let us continue with the tutorial. So as you can see, this is the official GitHub page for WinLater. Do not use any kind of other service to get the emulator onto your Android device. So let me just go to GitHub releases. And here I'm going to see that WinLater 2.0 is updated. This is the latest version and has these many new uh, updated features like improved input controls, audio plugins, added option to install custom Wine versions. And also it has a box 64 since it is really nice that it can now also like emulate both box 86 as well as 64 games really nice in my opinion so let me just go to github releases and you have to download this apk this 2.0 updated apk and also install the obb file so once that has been done once you have all the required necessary files just go ahead and open bill later and you are going to see that the app has crashed it is going to say that unable to install the obb image do not panic when you see something like this just go ahead and open your file manager then go to your downloads and get in touch with the obb file that we just installed and paste it in the directory where i'm showing you android obb com.winlater and paste it here so once the obb file has been pasted here what we're going to uh, do is just open the winlater app and let me go ahead and open it as you can see it is saying initializing the obb image you have to wait for a few seconds here because it is going to take a while for the obb image to finally initialize and once it is initialized so once the obb file has finally initialized you have to just click upon this plus icon and then name your container anything here and also selecting the screen size you can see there is a screen size limit up to 1080p i'm going to keep it default for this video graphic drivers you can see there are like turnip plus zinc i'm going to select this. I'm going to keep most of the thing, things to default. Let us turn on show FPS. We also have DX uh, wrapper customization. Like uh, as you can see, there is Vine dx vk and many more versions here if i just scroll down in wine registry keys you can see that there is also a customization for the gpu name which is really nice that we can now customize the gpu name as well because some games might require a different uh, gpu so in order to fix that we have to get compatible with the game and this is a really nice option let us just keep it to default as well we have like video memory size as well which is like up to 4096 it is also really nice and in dx components let us just keep all these things to default and in environment variable uh, drivers so as you can see we have a custom uh, target path for our selected driver so that is it for the container settings let me just click upon the blue tick mark option and it is going to create our container so once the container has been created let me just go ahead and click upon these three dots go to input controls and here we can select the uh, profile as RTS or either a template of 12 buttons. Let me just select it. We can also customize the cursor speed and our controllers overlay. Let me click upon controls editor and here we can customize these controls to our liking. So if I just uh, select any of the button and tap on the setting button, I'm going to see the type of button that I want it to be like button d-pad range button stick and whatever and also selecting the shape and also uh, changing its size key binding it to keyboard or mouse and also selecting uh, a custom icon for it there are uh, really nice icons here which i can select and all of this is just really nice let me go back and go to our containers and if you want to uh, start your container what you have to do is just uh, come here and click upon these three dots and hit upon run so then it will show you a message similar to this starting up it is going to take just a few seconds won't be much by the way on the device which i'm emulating this emulator will later is a diamond city device with a mali gpu so it is a so this device can be considered as a low-end device uh, i really don't expect much performance upon it since i don't uh, have my oneplus 11r here which has a snapdragon 8 gen 1 along with 16 gigs of ram so anyways i have this device uh, with which i'm going to make this video so uh, one more, more important thing about winlater 2.0 is that we can also emulate other emulators like xmu to run xbox came onto our device which is really nice rpcs3 maybe we can do it too as well as we can also emulate gta 4 and gta 5 this is really amazing my old pc isn't able to play gta 5 on more than 10 to 15 fps but we can now finally play gta 5 on uh, like 20 fps max 20 fps on our android device and i'm really happy to see how far emulation has come so this is it for today's video guys i hope you liked and enjoyed and if you did so 
make sure to give this video a thumbs up subscribe my channel and turn on that bell icon which is really necessary and i'll see you in the next video goodbye